What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at AMD stock. Guys, so let's take a look at the price section, the important key levels on it and I'll also provide you the update on some of the plays that we took, how that turned out and going into this next week especially, what are the potential levels to watch that could give us either to the long or to the short side. We'll take a look at those, Our we will go over the thesis and take a look at the price section and with that Please hit the like and subscribe and also please note none of this is any financial advice, it's only for education purposes. I'm only sharing how I trade the market, how I read the market, nothing more than that. I'm, I take guarantee of nothing. You are solely responsible for your own financial decisions and outcomes, okay? Now, so AMD guys, starting off with on the daily interval, uh, you are seeing these two red lines. You can ignore them for now. Again, these were more like when we were doing hourly interval close closer to the price action um, analysis back then, those are the trend lines back from there. But what we have to focus on is where price is right now. So, so okay, one of the plays that we took this last one was break below. So let me go to the hourly interval first and then I'll come back to the daily interval. So what we were talking about after this uh, reversal candle just when Nvidia also got its bearish engulfing candle that um, AMD is turning to the short side. The first level I was targeting was around this level of um, 100, some, somewhere here, guys, right? The uh, 199 or range, so like just around the 200 hours moving average. So this was pretty much our whole play. And then I mentioned that break below 200 hours moving average may give you the next level of 185. And if you want to get a bit of background on that, um, you can check out this video of mine. So this video guys I did, um, this was I think yeah, last week, right? Before when we were opening up this play, you can find it, here we go. Six days ago, AMD stock down to 185, 270 to 185 dollars. This, this video guys, check this out on my channel if you're interested to know more about that. And so 207 was back where, here, yep, pretty much right from here guys, this, this area, the red line you are seeing. And this was our short play and we called out 185 guys. We got precisely right over there and then we are finding that bounce. That's fine, right? So that was an awesome play, right? This is what I was expecting. Now this play is over. So I'm going to get rid of this. And now in the last, well, uh, one of the videos that I did, I did talk about on AMD, the, one of the last videos that after 185, because this is a important level that we are watching after this, there is potential that this thing may at least do a little bit of a bounce. We got that bounce and for the reasons that um, this bounce that I was talking about could come all the way to this level, the one above, right? The around $192. And however, I said this doesn't really change the sentiment on it so far. This still keeps it bearish, but we'll see if and that's what I'm, I'll talk about, like what are the levels to, you are watching going into this week. But that was one of the criteria you are watching. Now, please note that on daily interval on AMD, we are still above this trend line, moving trend line that has acted pivot for quite some time always. So there's a potential that at this area, if it comes lower, you are still watching this trend line technically it has broken that shorter term pattern that we traded, the cool off pattern. But is it going to continue to go lower from here or is it going to give us a bounce? So the way the candle has closed, right, the previous candle, there is a potential that there could be a bounce coming, but not that soon. We'll, we'll jump into the hourly interval to talk about it. Now, um, also what I want to do is show you the short volume data on the daily before going into the hourly interval which for now is it's decent enough it's not eye popping it's it's not something that here i would say oh it's gonna go much lower i don't think that that short volume here has much to play in the equation the role again one thing is not gonna make everything happen it's like we have to build these variables into our equation of thesis now um let's go to the hourly interval and what am I seeing over here? So yes, this rebound is fine. It's still in the downtrend on um, AMD. Now, things, again, it, it, may, it may look like that AMD may 
go up, right? Let's say if even if guys AMD in my opinion goes to $199 at this point, this could be a shorter term, at least intraday. This could be as yes, an intraday play if AMD continues and breaks above this level of $193.52 on Monday. It, your target level for intraday trading could be 199 but I would not put my bet more above that. That's where I would like to take more of the profits. I'm going to get rid of these red lines as they are no longer important to us. Now, um, otherwise, guys, if we lose this level of $190 or not just $190, I would say $188. Now, there's something I want to adjust on my indicator. Again, guys, if you need access to my tools, links are in the description below of this video. So here we go. I got some more levels for you. So guys, the thing is that there, because just because AMD has found this on two days, this double bottom, there's a potential that this may start to form a pivot. And so the confirmation of pivot is that if it fails to break below 188 and 92 cents, which means in other words, that either it finds supports at 20 hours moving average or breakouts about 192 and 74 cents on Monday morning. Then it's a continuation to the upside play, at least on the intraday side, right? And otherwise, if we lose this 188 and 85 cents again, or even just 20 hours moving average, then this thing has a room to continue to fall, right? At least on intraday, right? And so beyond right now, $199 or $200, I would not put my money on it. Like I'm not going to play long right now. I'm not, I don't think that's going to happen, but we'll keep covering day by day as the price action evolves as well. Now, if let's say if that happens, if it gets above $200, that's then yes, guys, it again open up the door to $211. Otherwise, if next, because what my opinion is next week, it's going to get choppy here. Even if it goes up intraday, at $200 level, it's going to get choppy in my opinion and it's going to start to fizzle out. And um, and as soon as we lose this 184 eventually, guys, there's just a lot more downside to come. But a day or two, it may either go up or choppy as well. So just trade with the levels, watch the price action uh, at the level of 192 and 67 cents. Intraday long above that. I won't do swing long right now because the pattern is still bearish. But and anyways, anytime if we lose one hundred eighty eight dollars range, one hundred eighty eight and or one hundred ninety one hundred eighty nine, then guys, this is a continuation to the downside. Um, but yeah, this is right now intraday showing us the possibility just because of this double bottom that there's there could be a pivot forming for intraday play only. Okay, and let's go to the daily interval again, and I want to talk about a um, couple of other things here. So yeah, guys, eventually I. I'm expecting this thing either gonna stay choppy here and slowly and slowly fizzle out but yes there is a little bit of a rebound coming in my opinion and then break of this 184 and 81 cents is the only play for the swing to 162 but we want to see this trend line break first and also we lose 50 days moving average otherwise there is no point in trading swing short um, yeah you will you can get in a bit of a trouble if you try to do swing short here now the swing short play guys 207 dollars to 185 that was the play okay we got that whole play loving it made a lot of money you know um you can't make a play out of a thin air there are plays when they develop we take those plays plays won't successful tradable plays won't be there every day so don't try to make a play every day even if there is no play if you think, oh, I missed that, oh, if you, for some reason, if any one of you missed that play and you think, oh, I can still take another play and there, there is no, okay, there is no guarantee in stock market, you have to have a stop loss. But sometimes the play is, because it's very common for traders not to take a great play and they would try to make a play out of a thin air, okay? So don't get into that habit. When there's a play, take it with the stop loss, okay? There's a still a play developing, but swing short play, that was that, $207 to $185. Now, next swing short play will come if we start to break this 50 days moving average and the trend line. Otherwise, it's only tradable intraday right now, as I talked about on the hourly interval, the levels that I gave you, okay? Now, I take guarantee of nothing. As you know, I'm only sharing how I trade the market, how I read the market. I'm just here to share my opinion, guys, okay? Um, that's all. Now, 
you do whatever you want to do i take guarantee of nothing right so now what i also want to talk about is um all right that was amd guys um i did a video on nvidia already check that out on my channel um and then i oh well yes you can just take a look at here nvidia this morning came out make or break week you don't want to miss out this video on nvidia guys very important uh, it's a make or break week for nvidia for sure um, I'm just going to take you over real quick other stocks as well. I'm going to do their videos separately as well, but this is Broadcom. I opened up a short position on this as well. I'm in profit making money. Um, SMCI in the short play as well, making money on this as well. Looking great in my position. It's in, it's, it's going in my direction, loving it. And oh, well, so guys, I'll do also a Micron technology um so yeah I'll, i added this to my watch list as well so if you're interested please hit the like subscribe and yeah i'll be doing this as well now i want to actually go to kqq and spy real quick and because i have a well i have a play on kqq as well so far i'm in the money on this as well so this is the short play i took guys so in my opinion kqq has broken well started to break the structure and confirmation continuation is 433 and below is just much lower downside I'm just gonna keep extending this position. I wanna do it to 421. Let's see if that play, at least first we gotta lose 50 days as well, but already in this money, so looking great. Spy has also lost and broken the structure a little bit. I'll talk about it more in depth in my tech stocks video, but it $510 level was what I was watching for it to lose. It has lost that level. And now $508 level is the next one. But the problem, so, just because there's a level underneath doesn't mean that it's going to hold a support. We have to see an overall structure and the price action reaction there. Now, there's a possibility that since it has broken the structure, in my opinion, SPY also has much more room to keep going to the downside. Just sharing my opinion, guys. Okay, well, that's all for this video, guys. If you found it helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe. And with that, I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye.